why did the big bang take place that's another very good question so the best theory like i said that we have of the universe is the so called big bang theory now what does this theory say first of all what is this theory this theory is a model of the history of the universe this is the best theory that we have and it's a model of the history of our universe after the big bang occurred it is not a theory of the creation of the universe that's what we would understand there's a big difference the big bang theory is not a theory of the creation of the universe it is a model of the history of the universe after the big bang took place and after the very early period of the universe's history which we don't really understand very well so around 10 raised to uh, see so basically the universe had a birthday the universe there was a point in time so to say before which there was no yesterday in the universe so the universe emerged at a certain time at a well at a certain time you can say that yeah but before that there was no time so the universe had a birthday and everything proceeds further f- in a certain direction of time from that point onwards so when the universe was about 10 raised to minus 36 seconds old it was about the size of of a of a tennis ball or cricket ball or an apple so we begin to understand the big bang theory essentially tr- uh, begins to understand the universe from that point onwards because before that you had grand unification which we don't quite understand so before that point basically all four forces that we know of in nature the strong nuclear force the weak nuclear force electromagnetism and gravitation these were all of equal strengths gravity's role was much more uh, prominent at that time right it was as strong as the other forces and afterwards the forces decouple into the in become similar to what we experience today so our understanding of the old of the early universe proceeds forward from that point onwards from 10 raised to minus 36 seconds onwards and it's an approximate understanding of how things occurred so basically the big bang theory is a model of what happened from that point onwards it is it doesn't seek to explain it is not able to explain what caused the initial expansion itself so you go you go and ask any scientist any theoretical physicist in the, in the world they will not be able to answer why did the big bang take place what caused it what triggered the initial expansion of the universe what triggered the creation of the universe we don't know so this these are the limitations that we currently have in our understanding of the universe and 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 in our understanding of science itself of the laws of nature itself so there's a great deal to understand there's a great deal that we don't know so that's what i keep emphasizing that there is so much to uh, that's why physics the- and theoretical physics and physical cosmology and astrophysics that's why it's so interesting it's so fascinating because there is so much still left to understand so much still left to discover the history of the very early universe is an especially fascinating uh, topic because it basically talks about grand unification which is the so called so called holy grail of physics the unification of the four four forces of nature and any others if any others do exist so so basically that's your answer we do not know what triggered the big bang what uh, laws or what what uh, forces or what it was that triggered this this event we don't know we only understand what happened after a certain point in the very early history of the universe and that too it's an approximate understanding there are still many uh, many many uh, data points that we don't have and many things we still don't understand but it it is the best theory that we have as of now and it 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 does explain a lot about the universe and we do have a lot of evidence that supports this theory